so you're generally going to be going down <coughs> the sides to release the pressure. You need to be thinking um, mainly about sort of the ulna and the compressor so the the nerves um, to avoid. They're the main things, but other than that, it's making sure that you're going through um, enough tissue to actually see that release. Usually, if they're <laughs> not the um, quite a demeter, so you'll see the skin splitting apart, and you want to be make sure that you're going um, into normal tissue as well to make sure that you've released the full thing. So, you want to go, you know, a couple of centimeters, one centimeter below into normal tissue beyond um, where the burns are to make sure. Um, you've gone through and you basically sort of see that things kind of, sort of burst apart. I think one is a sign that you've gone deep enough and hopefully you'll get some perfusion improvement with that. Um, but we've got a guy here that we can all have a practice on so we can, there's two limbs, or two lower limbs, upper limb, which he's missing his upper, and we can have a go at the chest as well. So things you want to think about obviously is your own PPE for doing it. So we've got some here. Everyone to have a go, um, and I mean, there's you know, with full thickness, but they can be a bit desensate, but you still want to provide some of these things. Um, and from chatting to all of the consultants, they seem to um, be of the opinion that probably wouldn't do fingers in our service, so it would be, you know, potentially left their hands off there. So, most people. In this service, it sounds like you go down to maybe mid hand at the most, but probably avoid doing the finger um, because it's, it's quite difficult to both the digital uh, vascular supply and nerve supply. To, it's an area that you can cause uh, a lot of morbidity with, so um, uh, enough to, if you do the standard ones that are shown without the fingers, that should be enough to actually save the, the limb itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if there's obviously there's going to be bleeding and things, so if you have to, you know, diathermy available, um, and just you know some skin prep for them, and then dress the wound. But then again, thinking afterwards not to put constrictive dressings around, so you don't want to sort of be wrapping clean wrap around, um, glad wrap.